Hey guys, happy Monday. How are you guys doing? I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. I'm recording this video on a Monday, like I said. So I hope you guys had a blessed, beautiful weekend. And right now I'm gonna be doing a back to work look, okay? So it's gonna be a neutral look. It's gonna be something basic for you guys, something simple. Um, so don't worry, I'm using one palette today. <laughs> and it's gonna be the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, okay? So, um, I got this as a gift. So, yeah, it's used. Like all my stuff, it's used. Let me just pull out some of the excess. So, it has some creamy, shimmery colors on the top. Golds, um, like a rose gold. Some silvers at the bottom, a little bit of brown, gray. So, I'm going to be playing with only one palette today, okay, guys? So, Stay tuned for that one palette challenge for me. <laughs> and for those who are wondering, I have more than one lingerie. It's just that I use this one because this is the most appropriate for camera. Um, but I will definitely <laughs> um, be, you know, wearing clothes sometimes too. Um, but yeah, this is my most comfortable outfit for camera. So I'm going in with the color Bloom and Birch which is like an orange shimmery color. I mean, not orange shimmery, um, orange matte color and a woody color as well. I'm just going over the crease with it just to have it as my transition color. I already put a little bit of makeup um, on, on my eyelids before I came on camera to save a little bit of time um, because I usually put like a neutral color base on the backdrop of for my eyes before I put on my eyeshadows so that's just a recommendation for some people who want their makeup to you know have layers and to transition all right so I'm gonna be using my real techniques brush okay so real techniques brush is a fluffier brush it's a synthetic brush um, yeah I'm gonna go in with that I'm gonna spray it a little bit with my setting spray this is wet and wild fight dirty setting spray Okay, so I'm going to, you can get this at Walgreens, um, CVS, any pharmacy. And I'm going in with the pearl color, which is a shimmery matte color. I mean, it's not shimmery, it's not matte, sorry. Shimmery cream color. It's a Monday, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> and then I'm just patting it lightly on my inner eyelid, my inner eyelid. Going in with that color. Some people don't like a lot of shimmer for work, but um, if you like a little bit of shimmer, this is this is a nice look for work, especially if you have like a work event that you might be going to for the springtime. You're invited to something work related. This could also be a work look for that occasion for a work event. If this is too much for your everyday, but for me, this is not too much for me. So it's all based on your liking. So you can use this for any type of look. This could be, you know, a going out look as well. But it's simple for me because I'm using one cup, like one palette. I'm using neutral colors only and shimmer. Okay, so I'm going in with the any gray that you have, a soft gray. It's also a little bit brown, if you can see right here. Yeah, it has a tad bit of brown in it, but it's mainly gray. And I'm just going into the crease with it. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had an interesting weekend. And I'm just happy that the weather is getting better. We had a beautiful weekend as far as weather goes in the, on the East Coast. Um, so I know this week is a, supposed to be a little bit cooler, unfortunately. So don't put those jackets away. I mean, you could put away the heavier jackets, but definitely have your spring coat, you know, on deck or a heavy sweater, especially for the morning. Oh, this weather in New York. At least it hasn't been like really bad snow or anything. I'm going in with the matte brown from the palette. Any matte brown that you have for the crease. Yeah, it hasn't been like, um, I'm glad that it hasn't snowed a lot for the winter. And I hope that there's no more snow. I hope the snow is finished. Um, but yeah, definitely just looking forward to nice spring weather now. Where you could go outside with, you know, just a shirt like a light sweater or um, a light, um, you're just wearing like casual stuff or just like a long sleeve shirt, something cotton, something like light, you know, or just like a light jacket type vibe. Just bring it with you. I, I love spring. 
any weather where I don't have to wear a lot of clothes, I like. <laughs> I'm that type of person. I'm I'm a little bit of a nudist to some degree. Not like I'd like to walk around naked outside. Definitely I can't do that anyway. Um I will get in trouble for that by the law. But um yeah, I just like the freedom of not having a lot of clothes on me. Too much clothes just feels too restrictive. So like I don't know how many of you sleep you know, whenever you go to sleep, you don't sleep with clothes at night. It's okay. I, I know it's nothing to be ashamed of, but, you know, I definitely don't like to sleep with clothes. And um, I'm sure a lot of you do the same things. Some people don't like to wear clothes. Some people like to wear their pajamas, their the set, the pajama flannel set. And that's cool, too. If that makes you comfy and their little comfy little socks, you know, like a big kid. <laughs> when I always see those adults with those pajamas on. And they're going in bed with their bonnet and they're, you know, looking all grandma-y. Sorry, guys. You look like a grandma. But you guys look like a grandma. And I hope that some of you guys are not wearing those flannels to bed when you have a man. Because that's a turn off. If I was a dude, I would be turned off. So, yeah. Just a random thought. Um, but to each his own. Alright, so I'm going in with a little pop of silver on inner lids. And I'm mixing it with that creamy tone that I put on first. And using the same brush, guys. The same brush. I lost a little bit of the brown, so I'm going back in with the brown. I'm actually going to use the um, brush from the palette as well. Just to um, define the brown in the crease a little bit better. And this is an optional step. If you guys don't want to intensify the brown, you just want to keep it like neutral like this, then that's perfectly fine. Okay, so you kind of like define it in the crease with a flat stippling brush. I have my ocean waves in the background, so pardon the ocean waves. Okay, because I have my TV playing in the background. I don't want the TV to get picked up on camera, even if you still might hear it, but whatever. Um, so I'm just blending it out now. So this is basically the look, guys. And then just going to put mascara on. Um, I might put on some lashes today since I'm going to be recording some videos. So I um, might put on some lashes. So that's an optional step. But this is basically the look. It's a neutral look for you guys. Okay. So I'm just going to come back, you know. And you can also add like a pop of the NYX color. Any vibrant color that you would like for just definition. If you want to pop a spring for the look. Um, any one of these vivid NYX liners are good. This one's the blue one. I might try a little bit of the blue. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so you could go on your waterline with this as well. Yeah, but for those of you who want to stick, don't want any dark, you know, dark liner, you can use a colored liner. And just take your time and you can place it where you want. You don't even need to put it on your waterline if you don't want it in your waterline. A lot of people don't feel comfortable with, you know, makeup in their waterline. It could be unsafe. Yeah, it's not really good for your eye, the health of your eye. But if you do it once in a while, you know, it's not too bad. Okay, so that's basically the look with a little bit of the blue that I have on just for a pop of color. Okay, guys, so I will be back with the final look. Okay, my loves, this is the final look. I put some lashes on because, like I said, I'm going to be recording a video or a couple of videos today. Um, so, yeah, this is the look. The eyes are pretty simple, in my opinion. I feel like it's simple, but if you think it's too much, oh, well, what can I say? You can use it for going out, <laughs> okay? Uh, so this is the Sultry by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, so if you're interested in knowing more about the palette, comment down below. Um, also, if you would like to see a particular makeup look moving forward, you can also comment down below. Don't be shy. I don't bite. I'm very nice. 
okay and also um i have a tiktok page that i recently started so i'll be putting the information down below for those who are interested who would like to follow me um i will appreciate that as well okay so thank you guys and i hope you guys have a lovely week ahead of you and stay tuned for another makeup tutorial this week bye guys have a great day